Now, James Schaefer is out there and... Okay, all right, thanks, bro. This is Las Vegas Regional reporter James Schaefer. We are seeing what we believe is an eruption of emotion in their Las Vegas premiere. One grand opening wasn't enough. Watching robotic basketball. Showgirls as well. We're here in the capital, Laguna Woods, California, in Kingman, Arizona. Three, two, and details surrounding traffic. The Blue Man Group controlled demolition, but this early look, the governor also told us weightlifting record to be back at the cinema. Políticos vinieron al evento vestidos. Los precios de la gasolina alcanzan escuelas como la secundaria Mojave reciban. Can I take that once more? Uh, sure. Okay, I, I think I can do that one better. A perfect family. That's how neighbors are describing the Henderson household where a 14 year old boy shot and killed his 10 year old brother early Wednesday morning. I was really shocked because stuff like that doesn't happen in your neighborhood, you usually think. Neighbors reacted to the death of a young boy at the Henderson home located in 100 block of Sicily Hills Court. The city of Henderson police were called to the address at 9.13 a.m. where arriving officers found the 10-year-old suffering from a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The detectives determined that the 14-year-old shot his brother and he was booked on one count of involuntary manslaughter. It's crazy. I mean, it's just, you just don't expect it to happen in your neighborhood. Like you said. Neighbors, shocked by the news, described the family and neighborhood as quiet and nice. Like you said, when we talked earlier and stuff, there's a very quiet neighborhood, so you don't expect anything like this to happen here. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. We're on Maryland Parkway right across the street from UNLV's campus, where police are telling us that a man was killed after being stabbed to death. I'm out here this evening to brief you on a homicide investigation that we are conducting. Police responded Thursday night to the scene of a fatal stabbing at a bus stop near UNLV. Police said that a security guard working near the In-N-Out Burger on Maryland Parkway witnessed the stabbing. That security officer ran across the street and confronted the armed suspect. The security officer was able to take the suspect into custody without incident. The two men involved in the altercation were not students from UNLV and university security was not involved in the scene, tweeting that there was no threat to the campus. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Escuelas como la secundaria Mojave reciban un nuevo sistema de seguridad que sonora un poco como esto. Hard lockdown. Hard lockdown. En una conferencia de prensa del jueves, el superintendente Jara mostró un nuevo sistema para alertar a la seguridad y la personal cuando hay amenazas en la escuela. Es un, es un sistema para que los, los empleados en las escuelas lo, lo tienen en, en su cuerpo y, y va una alerta para la policía y para las, las escuelas, la direct, en los directores para que vengan a ayudar en donde está pasando. El programa actualmente solo comienza con nueve escuelas. Eh, ojalá y el año que viene vamos a empezar. Tenemos 15 escuelas que estamos empezando y vamos a seguir. Pero primero vamos a empezar con los bachilleratos y después vamos al middle school y a, los, a las escuelas elementarias. Para Las Vegas Review Journal en Español, soy James Schaefer. The summer Mojave heat makes you wish you had a ride out of town. Thankfully, we've arrived at our ride out of town, 20,000 feet above town, that is. Our ticket got us on a KC-135 refueling stratotanker, taking off above the Nevada testing site, refueling some F-16s. The boom operator pumping gas on shift was Airman First Class Jonathan Covey. It's hard to describe the first time you open up the siding door and see the ground on your first flight, and that's probably something that every boom operator remembers where they were and when they did it, so uh, that's probably one of the best parts. The 59-year-old aircraft continued on track at 281 miles per hour. Amid the turbulence, we asked Kobe about the best part of his job. This job never gets boring. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, everyone else who has this job, they love it as well. 